today we're reading the Nutcracker. Christmas Eve, the star bombs were having a party and the Christmas tree was lit. Mary gazed at the candles and ornaments. She could almost see the candies and tiny angels dancing in her own dream world. How she wished she could join them. Mary's naughty brother, Fritz and Peter, were arguing over their new toy soldier. Once mine, give it here. Oh no! Mysterious Herr Drosselmeyer was also at the party. The children were sure he was a magician. Marie called Herr Drosselmeyer. You don't push and shout like the other children. I am giving you a special present from Andres Cloak. Herr Drosselmeyer pulled an amazing nutcracker. Marie's eyes grew wider and wider. The nutcracker was made of wood. It looked like a glorious soldier, dressed in a red coat with black with brass buttons. Here we have given it to her. Oh, thank you, Herr Drosselmeyer, cried Mary. Then she hugged the nutcracker. I know that you are an enchanted bird, she whispered in, in its painted ear. Fritz and, Pe- Fritz and Peter crowded close. Let me play with it, said Fritz. Give it here, demanded Pete. No! Not the nutcracker! They tugged on Mary's arms, causing the nutcracker to fall to the floor. Its jaw, its jaw had broken. Mary started to cry. My prince, she said. Just then the clock struck eight. It was time for bed. Go on now, all of you, the parent said. Leave your toys here. You can play with them in the morning. They are... And now they are looking sad. Marie went to bed, but late that night she crept downstairs to nurse the poor nutcracker. She tied her handkerchief around his jewel and soothed him with lullabies. And just in time, an evil army of mice were creeping into the room, eat up all the crumbs and left over sweets. A tremendous mouse king gave the orders. All hail the king! All hail the Mouse King! The nut, the nutcracker was up in a flash. Magically, he could walk up, and his jaw was repaired. The toy soldiers lined up behind him as he led the charge against the Mouse King. In the battle that followed, the nutcracker was knocked to the ground. But before the Mouse King could hurt him, Marie threw her slipper at the evil rodent. As the Mouse King spun around, the nutcracker leapt off and finished him off. As soon as the Mouse King died, the enchantment of the Nutcracker faded away. He stood before Marie as a prince. You have saved me from the Mouse King's spell. Come with me to the Land of Sweets, there the Sugar Plum Fairy will give you your reward. Marie and the prince entered the magical sleigh. As the snowflakes glittered and twirled about them, they took off for the sky. Soon, they were above the clouds in a garden filled with flowers. A lovely lady greeted them. Welcome to the land of sweets. I am the dewdrop fairy. Let me give you some flowers, continued the fairy. She waved her wand. Flowers rose from the the ground and danced themselves into a beautiful bouquet for Marie. And here... You see the end of the sleigh with all the flowers. The sleigh moved onward. Welcome to Candy Town, said the prince. This is where I live. Marie was filled with want- wonderment. Everything was made of cake and candy. Yummy. A troupe of sprites in red and white in red and white stripes leaped and whirled before Marie. The dancers spun so fast that at last they turned into candy canes. Wow! The magic sleigh stood before a great castle. A beautiful lady in a jeweled gown, gown stood at the gate. The prince knelt to kiss her hand. She could plump fairy. This is Marie. She helped me when my, when my need was great. My dear Marie, said the sugar plum fairy, since you are so brave and good, I will grant you this. All your sweet dreams will be will become true. Mary curtsied her thanks. Then before she knew it, she was back in her her own warm bed, dreaming wonderful dreams of Merry Christmases to come. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe for more books. (laughs) Bye-bye.